beautiful people. Happy New Year. I am so excited to be back. Let me tell you something. Spending 10 days with kids, husbands, and families, no, it's not for me. I don't know why I said husbands. Husband, only have one promise and that's enough. Anyway, it's enough. They got to go. I told my family, you need to skippity doo dah all the way the hell home because I need to get back into my art room. So over the break, I've had some amazing ideas that I've had to stockpile in my head, which I assure you there's plenty of room. But anyway, here is the first idea that I had. So I have this bad obsession with anything that is blingy. So every year when it comes to Christmas, I have to get a new set of ornaments for my tree. I'm guilty. Nothing I can do about it. It's a bad addiction. Anyway, so last year I did a nautical theme on my tree and I went to Hobby Lobby and I found starfish decorations, mermaids, coral, all kinds of cool things. But I was looking at these old decorations from last year. And they are very inspiring to me. Here is another one. I removed this part because this is the one that I'm going to be using. What I am going to attempt to do is, first, I'm going to do a freeform geode in the shape of a pearl. And then... I also have over here, which has nothing to do with a pearl, another freeform geode I'm going to be doing in this plastic tray that I found. Now, I have special ideas for each of these that I will explain when it's time. But for this video, I'm going to attempt to work on both of these and have it be a part one and a part two. What am I going to do with these shapes after they are cured, beautiful? How am I going to display them? Well, another bad addiction I have is Michael's Hobby Lobby Joanne's AC Moore, as most of you do. Michael's had a buy one, get one free on shadow boxes. Absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is once my geode or my pearl is cured and all done, I will be assembling it or attaching it inside of this shadow box for sale. Here's one that is done. Now this one is not going in this box, but you can see how beautiful that would look inside of a shadow box. So that is my plan for those. They will be put in shadow box and be put up for sale. So that's going to be this video today. I'm going to work on both of these. It'll be a two-part video because I have to wait for the first one to cure. First set of design to cure before I come back and do what I want to do with those. Then after that, I am going to attempt, and I repeat, I am going to attempt to make this out of resin. I have some molding putty. I'm going to make a silicone mold. And I have an idea of how it may work. I'm not sure if it will work, but I'm going to give it a try. And if I succeed, I think that would be a beautiful piece of art. Okay? So right now, I'm going to set up. We're going to stick to this right here, what's in front of you. I'm going to set up, and I will be right back. Another quick thing I wanted to show you. I didn't film. It was super easy to do. I did this on break. Um, I made like a little 3D floating dot box. I got this at Michael's for a dollar. I put a very thin layer, a quarter of an ounce of layer on the bottom of the box before I started. Once that cured, I did some dots with stickles all over the first layer. I let that dry. Once it was all dry, I poured another thin layer 
of clear resin, probably a quarter of an ounce. Repeated that step, let it dry, did more dots, and I just built up the layers. I did it about six times, and it was really cute. I just wanted to show you really quick. They look like they're floating through the resin. So if you ever look for a small, easy project to do, it's pretty simple. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to concentrate on the pearl. Now, what I'm using is a poster board frame, a poster or a photo frame, I guess they're called. And it's still wrapped in its original packaging. I like to use the original packaging, the plastic, first to put my silicone mold on because it's nice and smooth and the resin peels right off of it once it's cured, along with the silicone that you use to make your mold. Now, I'm not going to go over how I made the silicone mold. Very self-explanatory. You get a tube of silicone like this, one of these guns, or they sell it in a tube that you compress, and you just draw your shape, and then you keep drawing on top of it to build up some height, let it cure, and you're ready to pour into it. So, the reason why I buy these poster board frames is because underneath this plastic is a piece of acetate, and I think I got this for three bucks. So, it's a cheap pouring surface for freeform geodes. So now I got some new colors in from Lorez. My idea with this is I'm going to make the body portion of the pearl. I'm going to let it cure. I'm going to actually bring it up right to the tip here. So it's going to be pretty deep. Let it cure. Once it's cured, I'm going to rip out this center area. And in the center, I'm going to fill the center up with some colored resin, very lightly colored resin probably, and some pearls and bling bling like this has. So I have not mixed any colors yet because I need to do this one color at a time. I'm not sure how much I need of each color. So as I mentioned, I got some new colors from Lorez. I'm not going to show you all of them at once. I'm going to show you them as I use them. First one is the Glitz and Glam line, and it's called Milky Way, white, which is a white-green color. Now, I've never used this, so I'm going to put a little bit in a cup and add some, uh, well, I'm going to add some resin, put a little bit in the cup. Well, I'm going to fill the cup because I'm going to need that much. I'm probably going to need more than that. And I'm going to add some of this color in to see what it does. I don't know if it's a transparent, if I need to add white to it. So I'm going to add two of these little taster spoon amounts worth that came out all backwards. And I'm going to give it a mixeroo. And see what I get. So it's a very sparkly iridescent green blue color. I will show you it up cl close really quick. And I'm going to be using that for the main body. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. It's very sparkly and the sparkle is an iridescent greenish blue that's what I can tell you about that and I should never have swiped my stick over my geode because I had a clump of it on there so the first thing I want to do is fill the entire body with this color. So I'm going to take this little bit that I mixed. I'm going to dump it into this big cup. 
And I'm going to add a little bit more because I will definitely need at least that much to fill up the body. I just didn't want to mix it all in with the, um, I didn't want to mix it all in here because I was afraid that I would need something else, like a white. So. Very pretty color. If you're looking for a pearl, pearlesque, shiny color with hints of greenish blue, like a really light minty green or, yeah, this is it. It's your typical iridescent color. It's very pretty. All right, so here's what I'm doing. Filling in the entire body with it. Okay. the rest right there. So now what I want is to add in some greens, different green shades. So here's what I'll do. I will pause, I will prepare my little cups and then I'll show you the colors. Okay, so you'll notice that I have the other geode back in the frame. I'm going to start working on this and this at the same time because the resin's starting to warm up a little bit. So for this one, before I show you the colors that I'm using on both of them, um, for this one, my plan is to fill it up just as I am this one, design it however I want. Once it cures, I'm going to rip out only these lines and then I'm going to fill them in with Laura's Art Corner Glitter. So... And at the end, it's going to look like the lines of the geode are made out of glitter. Okay. So right now, what I'm going to show you for the black, I am using Midnight Black by Lorez, but I'm going to add in some spray paint. And the spray paint that I am using is by Testers. It's called Color Shift and it's an emerald turquoise. Now, if you don't if you spray it out of the can, it's just going to look like this. You can't really see it. There's not a lot in there. It looks just like an iridescent color. It needs black underneath it for it to show up and look like this. So that's why I opted to put the black base tint in first. And then add this spray paint in, which I will do on film right now with you. So I'm going to... Pour some in there. Can you see the color on the top there? How pretty that is? And I might as well use the rest of it. There's only a couple of drops left. And I'm going to mix it through that black. So now the black is going to have a really nice turquoise green or blue, whatever that said. Emerald turquoise color shift to it. And with this color here, I'm going to use a little tiny bit in my pearl and the rest of it in 
the geode over here. That's another way to spice up your colors. This here is Electric Green by Lorez that I added a little bit of regular um, craft glitter to. I reserve my good stuff from Laura's Art Corner where you're actually going to see it in the piece. This, if I had put some of the gold in there, it would have done the same, but I like to use it in clear. It's just so brilliant and so pretty. All right, then here is just some botanical alcohol ink. I wanted a few transparents. This is Deep Ocean Green by Lorez. Also transparent. And then Teal from Lorez. Alrighty, so here we go. The first thing I want to do is pour a little bit of this black solution that I made into this pearl. Actually, let me put some in here first. This is going to be the main body. I just don't want it flying out and ruining the whole thing. Now I'm hoping, and I don't see why it wouldn't work, that this black tray that I'm pouring in is just going to rip right off of the geode when it's done. Because in reality it is acetate, just a thicker piece of it. So it should be fine. Didn't want to do that. Just dumping out most of it. So like I said, I only need a small amount for this here. And I don't want it to come flying out on me. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I have a little bit of clear left here. I'm going to dump it in my cup. I want to use it all up before it starts getting hot. I'm going to get a clean stick. A little more black to what I just put in there and a little more spray paint then I'm gonna spray it first into the paper cup just a little bit and then pour it in the resin mixture Okay, and then I'm going to add it in here. I 
see I have a little bit of a leakage going on in the main center, the main area here. Which I was afraid of because I had a hard time seeing when the silicone was going down, whether or not it was touching, but it's okay. It'll be covered. So I'm just pouring this in here to fill up these areas and to use this up. This box is a little warped, so it may be off a little bit. All right, so here we go with the other colors. Electric green with a little bit of craft glitter right up along the black. I'm going to take some of that green and put it right up against this here. Trying my hardest to cover up that black. I also want to take a little bit of this green and run it along this area here. Just like so. Next up we'll do the deep ocean green. I don't know why I use these little medicine cups. They don't bend really.
Hope I'm not making you guys dizzy here. Going back and forth. With this um, pearl that I'm attempting to create, the majority of the uh, interest will be in the center. You know, you'll have your pretty lines out here, but what's going to draw you to the art will be the center. I'm going to take some of this deep ocean green and I think we'll go through here. And then I'll put a little bit in here also. It's hard to get right in that little spot there. And I'm noticing now I have quite a few leaks here. But it is what it is. It can all be fixed. Can't get mad about stuff like that. What are you going to do? Just like this black seeping up through here. What am I going to do? Not much I could do. I'll have to work with it and create... something out of it, just like this. It'll work in the end. All right, so the last one I have is teal and, last two I have teal and the botanical alcohol ink. So the botanical I'm going to first use on this here. I'm going to swirl those two together. Bloop. I'm going to put some up through here. And I'm going to grab the little bit of resin I have left in my cup. Because I also want to add a little bit into my pearl. Very silly of me to use these plastic cups.
you have no control with them. All right, so I'm going to kind of just like go up through the center of this with this stuff up through all the colors that I already poured right down the center of them. This piece here, what's going to draw the attention, is going to be the glitter lines. <clears throat> and the center stones, obviously, when it's time to add them. Okay, and then last but not least, I have teal. Now, you may be thinking, what the hell is she doing? But we're going to go for it and see how it all works out in the end. do have a plan. Before I do that, let me take my toothpick, flat side, not the pointy side. Just kind of mix those around a little bit. if I want to put any in this. First things first. So I'm just using the flat end of the tooth, the skewer, and kind of drawing some wispies. through the black area to create a little more interest and it looks very pretty in there. I'm not liking all that blue in this area so I'm going to add a little more of the black in there.
Okay. And now I need to add a little more of this green that I had made throughout this piece. So I'm going to scrape up my clear here. getting a little thick. Little bitty bitty thick. And I'm going to pause you guys, mix up some more resin. And come back. Then we got to get some gold in there. Come on. See when it starts to get more gooier, it's harder to control. You pour it right up against the silicone, it'll just drip right down into place. Okay. So I'm going to pause you guys and I'm going to mix up some more and be right back. Okay, so while I've been dilly dallying around mixing up resin and stuff, my original pores here are starting to thicken up a little bit so I'm going to add just a tiny heat to re-loosen them up so that they will receive my new resin but before I do that I wanted to show you I'm going to use another one of these glitz and glam products from Lorez and I just wanted to show you the par particulate of the flakes really really pretty Bling bling in a bottle is what I will say. And this one is called Starlight Blue. Again, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the sparkle in it. Very, very pretty color. So, I have to remember I'm on plastic here. So I'm just going to quickly go around with my heat gun just to make sure that it's still moving, which it looks like it is, so should be fine. If not, it'll do some crazy type of uh, reaction, and I'll be happy with it either way. Sometimes when you put new resin into older resin, it will like push up and do this weird thing. So now with this, what I want to do is I want to have a little more clear than what I do. 
The problem is, is I don't have a cup that bends for me to be able to pour it in the right area. I do have this silicone one, but hmm. All right. let's see here. Let's experiment a little bit, shall we? I'm going to add a little more clear to a cup. And then I'm going to take some of my resin with the colorant in it and add it to that. Give it a little mixer And it's still pretty shimmery, so, but it isn't as concentrated. So let me add a little more clear to that. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for clear with a little bit of sparkle. But I may have added too much sparkle to begin with. All right, we'll try this. Now I'm going to go around the center here And then around the outer edge. What I'm trying to do is push that line over with this clear but it may be a little too thick to do what I'm trying to do this is kind of it's moving it a little bit but it's gliding almost over it all right so now we're going to come over here do the same thing through all of this black Just kind of breaking it up a little bit. We're going to do many little puddle pours all around the center. 
Not that you'll really see them because they're blending in. But I'm doing that to push the resin outward. What you will see, though, will be the gold that I put in there. Okay, I'm going to come over here, I really covered that up, oh well, nothing I can do now. Whoa. Slow down, pony. Getting a little bold here. A little too bold for my britches. One thing I don't want to do is touch this center here. This I'm really starting to like because it's kind of doing some funky things. But I have to be careful because it's right up to the ridge here. And I don't want it to overflow. I just want to see something here. Yeah, see this is really thick underneath it. Really, really thick. This is overflowing. All right. You know, my problem is this in here is too low. So I do have to add some color here.
really need it to be thick, <clears throat> thicker in this area because I have to pour. I have to pull these out and do the uh, glitter. So I have to keep going here. I have to probably mix up more of that green and redo that area. Because it's just not thick enough yet. So let's pile it in here. See what we got. I tell you, I love this color. It is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I really like that color. Okay, so let's mix up some more of that lucky green with the gold. I'm going to pause you quick. Okay, I'm sorry. I said lucky green and gold. It's electric green and gold glitter. All right, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to pour it right up against this barrier and hopefully be able to swirl it into those other colors. That is my plan anyway. And I forgot to put my gloves back on. And I'm going to bring some more up into this area again, even though it's ready to flood. Just this area is bothering me. And here. Mix those around a little bit. And over here, even though it's flooding, again, it's bothering me. And then lastly, I'm going to add a little bit more into this. Only because a lot of it went underneath the clear. So why not brighten it back up? You can't tell I'm not really liking that gold <laughs> or the black. These areas I'm not worried about, like I said, because there's going to be stones there. But the other areas are bothering me. And this is also bothering me. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, blah, 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 blah. these are little bottles I found at Joann's. They're sold by Fab Lab. I put some liquid leaf in them by Craftsmart. It's straight up liquid leaf. I need to create some interest in this piece. So I'm going to take the nozzle, which is very fit, very uh, fine. 
Is that even the right color? I have two of them here. That's silver. Glad I didn't do that. Right. Here's the gold. I'm literally going to draw through the resin with it. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We will see. Wish me luck. I'm squeezing as I pull. Do not let go from squeezing or else it will suck resin up into the nozzle. Well, that is pretty cool. Come on, almost there. <sighs> Woo -wee, that was fun. Oh yeah. Let's see how the bottle is. Let me inspect it. Hope you guys stuck around to see that. That was fun. Oh, it's still flowing out. Wow, I cannot wait for you guys to see that. All right, we're going to try one more. Please don't run out of paint. So in, essentially I am injecting gold leaf into resin. Wow. It's a lot of fun. Works like a charm too. Yes, beautiful guys, wow. Now for this one over here, I'm gonna do the silver. I think it's silver anyway, it looks pretty weird in the bottle. Comes out silver. Actually, before I do that, let me do a little swirling in this. Where I feel it needs it, or fixing, I should say. It's pretty thick. Don't want to mess with it too much. All right, let's try this silver. Would help if there weren't bottles in the way of seeing. All right, let's try it right here. It is working, it's just going through darker colors, you're not going to see it as much. And I think I just sucked up a resin on that one. Nope. All right. Well, almost forgot to move that around a little bit. I just wanted to swirl it to blend them a little bit. I hope you guys are still recording over there. Got to be getting ready to shut off on me soon. All right. So let me shut, put this in a couple other areas. And then I will be back with part two. In case it shuts off on me. I want to thank you all for the great year last year. 
I'm looking forward to this year. I cannot wait. I have so many ideas. And, uh, yeah. We're going to have a bunch of fun. God willing. I don't like the fact that I designed this. I know geodes aren't supposed to be, you know, even or whatever, but I don't like the fact that I have three here and only two here, two sections there, but what are you going to do? That's just me being anal. I am dragging something through this here. Probably a hair or something, because I keep wiping it on this dirty rag. So now I have to fish that out. But anyway, let's leave this alone for now, huh? And come back and do part two. This liquid leaf does this weird thing. I call it stoning. So it breaks up like a cluster of rocks. It's pretty cool. This thing's gonna be like bam when it's done. Bam. Right. So I'm gonna stop there, especially with this one. This one I may play around with a little bit off camera. I don't know. It still has a long way to go to be finished, but... We'll see. I think this one needs another gold line, though. Right around the center. No. I'm going to check to see how much gold leaf is left in the bottle before I start that because I don't want to run out midstream. I'm going to add just a little tiny bit more. Actually, maybe I better not. Yeah. I only have brass left. So I'm worried that uh, I should have enough. I'm worried that it will show the difference. Again, these bottles can be found at Joann's or online, joanns.com. Or whoever makes Fab Lab products, 